Welcome to The Word in Focus with Pastor Teacher Stephen Dickerson. Here's Pastor Stephen with today's teaching. It's what we say. That's why James was emphasizing the power of the tongue. Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm, positive thinking is a wonderful thing. I'd rather be around a positive person than a negative person. But we're not, say, we're not talking about the power of positive thinking necessarily. We're talking about agreement with what the Word says concerning God and His accomplishment for us on our behalf in Christ. God reconciled, we talked last time, God work, reconciled the world to Himself in Christ. Now, we have the message of the ministry of reconciliation, be reconciled to God. God has been, re- God reconciled you to himself in Christ. He's no longer counting men's sins against them because he condemned s- sin in the flesh of his son. He dealt with the sin issue with the propitiation or the, his son was the payment, the propitiation for sin. He dealt with that in the flesh of his son. So he's been, so God is reconciled to us. He's no longer counting our sin against us. Now the message is be reconciled to God. How? Through the power of the gospel. The power of the gospel is the power of God into salvation in Christ, through Christ Jesus. But how do we how do we achieve this? It's not through religious activity. I believe in going to church. I believe in all the things that we like to do, but I don't do them to be saved. To have eternal life, I have eternal life through repentance and faith toward God. The, uh, the religious activity does not deal with my flesh. Religion can mask my flesh. It can it can it can make my flesh religious. It can make my flesh or turn me into a self-righteous person because of all the things that I do. It can make me a Pharisee. It can be very very Pharisaical in in its activities. The truth is that I'm, I'm a sinner apart from Christ. I am hopeless apart from Christ. I cannot be born of the Spirit apart from Christ. I cannot be. He died for me. By the Spirit, through faith, I am alive in Christ because I was too raised with Him. Just as He was raised from the dead, I'm raised from the dead. By faith, it's it's my tongue says what about myself, about me, that I'm a liar. I'm, 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 I'm evil apart from Christ and His righteousness. I cannot please God through the works of the flesh. It doesn't matter how good the works of the flesh may be. I cannot be. I'm God's enemy. Even if I'm a good man, a moral man, an ethical man, apart from Christ, I'm God's enemy. The flesh is God's enemy. That's a hard thing to say, but it's true. Positive thinking is a wonderful thing, but it doesn't give you eternal life. Eternal life is in Christ, in Christ alone. What God accomplished on your behalf in Christ is the only thing that gives you rightness, right standing, righteousness with God. That's it. But what a wonderful revelation to know what a knucklehead you are on one side, how hopeless you are on one side, and on the other side, how beloved you are, how righteous you have been made in Christ. You have been made alive in Christ. Wow, you didn't do anything. God did it in Christ. God redeemed you from death in Christ. God reconciled you to himself in Christ. Now, he says, the Holy Spirit has convicted you of sin, giving you the rec- giving you the, the, the revelation of your condition, which is dead, now giving you the ability to repent and say, Lord, I, I, I recognize I'm a sinner. I look to you and, re- and realize by the revelation of the Holy Spirit that you are the one who has dealt with my sin. I have life through faith in you. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's no harder than that. It's no simpler than that. That's it. But it's too simple for the religious mind. You mean all I have to do is repent and say, Lord, I, you're right. I am a sinner. And you you have the solution, so I put my faith in you. That's it. But that's too simple. I can't. That's No, can't be that simple. Well, then your natural mind says, who cannot, which, by the way, I just read, cannot comprehend the things that be of God. The natural mind is God's enemy. The natural mind says it's not true. It can't be true. And that right there is what makes you God's enemy. The natural mind, the natural way of thinking is what makes you God's enemy. It is true. God condemned sin in the flesh of his son. Why? So that in Christ, your flesh has been condemned. As long as you look at your flesh and 
Focus on the weaknesses and the failures, the propensities and proclivities of your natural man. As long as you do that, you're never going to have full victory. Even though you're born from above, born of the spirit, you're still not going to have full victory because you're focusing on yourself. You're letting your natural mind run your body, your life, instead of saying, I have the mind of Christ. I have the spirit of God within me. As many as are born of the spirit of God. See, what did, what did Paul say? Uh, I've, I've lost the, uh, uh, well, let me, let's see, I've lost here. Uh, those who are, let's see. Because the mind of the flesh is hostile toward God, but it does not subject itself to the law of God, for it is not able, even able to do so. For those who are in the flesh cannot please God. However, this is what I'm looking for. You are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. Wow. He says, if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, yet the spirit is alive because of righteousness. Christ righteousness. The body is dead because of sin. The body is dead because of sin, but you're alive because of the righteousness of Christ that was imputed to you by faith. And the Spirit of God is the one who makes that, who makes that. The Spirit of God is a person. person. He's a person. When you Christ, remember the Holy Spirit is the person who brings all this to being, all this together. You're alive because of the Spirit of Christ in you. And the righteousness which comes by faith is the righteousness that the Holy Spirit is taking and transforming you with, transforming you in to the image of Christ. Your responses change. Your thinking changes. When you fail, your response is, Lord, I thank you for the forgiveness of my sins. I thank you for the blood of Christ that perpetually, continually cleanses me from all unrighteousness. I thank you that that's not who I am. I thank you because I'm a new creature in you, and that's not me. I thank you for that. The Holy Spirit's the one who's giving you that revelation to say with your mouth, I may have sinned, committed a sin, but, and there may be consequences, I don't know. But what I'm saying is, by the Holy Spirit's revelation, you say, that's not who I am. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away and they're still passing away. That's not who I am. I'm new in Christ. His righteousness has been given to me by faith. I have a standing and position in Christ with my Father that has come through faith alone in what Christ accomplished for me on the cross. Believe it, as Pastor Rogers said. Take it with the tongue. Take it with the tongue. Say, say it, say it, and say it, and say it. Faith comes by hearing, not just a hearing of a preacher, not just a hearing of the Holy Spirit only, but hearing of your own saying. Say it over yourself. When you're, what, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. If you speak the word of God, your, your, your ears hear it. And you'll believe it in your heart because faith comes by hearing. When you say the word of God, I've just read you some script. When you say the word, speak the word, you hear it and you believe it. Rather than saying the negative and the critical about yourself and how much of a failure you are and this and that and the other, what, or letting other people speak that into your life. Say, no, 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 that's the natural mind. That's the natural mind, man. The natural mind is God's enemy. It can't be subject to the laws of God. But I have the mind of Christ, and I am subject to the laws of God. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. Romans 8, has set me free from the law of sin and death. You are a new creature in Christ Jesus. Say it. Say it. Bring it into this reality by faith. And whether you have the bells and whistles going off or not, whether this firecracker is going off or not, it's still true. It's still true because the Word says it is. Thank you for joining us on The Word in Focus. You can visit us at thewordinfocus.com for further information. Please consider becoming a partner, helping with the expansion on The Word in Focus. And blessings to you all in Christ.